Okay, so we're gonna do something a little different on this tour. I'm just feeling good and I, and I wanna give us a try. I did actually did it a while ago and a uh, while ago. Yeah, I probably just lost some subscribers there with that. A while ago, what what is that? <laughs> if this is your first time viewing, hey, sit back and relax um, and listen to this wonderful English grammar that I have. <laughs> okay, so what are you gonna do? Well, first off, let me say my name is Chance. And if you enjoy seeing tours of homes like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a tour of this home without ever being inside before. Now, I just feel like sometimes people run across the channel for the first time and they see what I'm doing and they maybe think that I'm trying to sell these homes or something like that. Uh, obviously, the place that I'm at are trying to sell these homes. This is Homes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina, and they have some killer homes here. Should be probably some on the channel by now. If not, they're gonna be coming real soon. But I, what I'm trying to get to, walk around back here while I'm talking, and then we'll head on in. What I'm trying to get to is, I don't wanna come off that way, man. I'm just doing these tours for entertainment. I wanna show you a good time, okay? Hopefully, make you laugh once or twice is always my goal. But then just show you the crazy homes that are out there. Uh, this, this place has 100% modular homes. And these things are huge. Like, look at this, okay? Now, this is a show model. That's why the back's not finished and all that. But I did want to walk back here and show you. I'm going to run up on a snake out here. Awesome now. This is, uh, got, this home has two stories. So as we come back around here, I mean, just golly at the roof pits on this one. It is crazy. And there's so many like this here. But we're gonna go in it together for the very first time. I mean, literally, I have no idea what's behind that front door. I, I mean, it's gonna be so crazy. It's kind of fun for me, so I guess, if anything, maybe it'd be fun for y'all as well. If you will though, drop us a like uh, on this video. It really, really helps, helps out the video perform better. So if you would do that, I would I would be grateful for it. And you're like, well, I don't even know what the house looks like. I don't know if I like it. I understand that, but uh, I like the video and I, <laughs> I ain't even been in either. Okay, this is getting way out of hand already. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What are we gonna see? Like, what do you expect? I'm thinking maybe, okay, let's go. Sweet mother of Joseph. Oh. I'm going to have to start doing this more. The second time that I've done, like not walking in beforehand and just kind of getting an idea before I start shooting. This is cool. Like, I didn't even expect this. My gosh, the size of that island, the... Let's talk about it. Drop me a comment, let me know. But here's what I see when I first walk in. One of the first things I notice, obviously you gotta know it's just a huge island, but I love this floor. The flooring in this one is beautiful. I love how it goes all the way. What is that in there? Holy cow. I love how it goes all the way from the living room into the kitchen. That's great to see. Man, this is a big house. What? What? Let me get a little peek. I don't. I really still don't know what it is. It's like a little den or something. So you know, like you. So I probably put up the floor plan before, but like I don't do that till I go back, back and edit everything. So I literally have no idea the layout of this home at all. Brand new Whirlpool appliances. This kitchen is massive this island y'all 
It's redonkulous. So I've seen this in one of the other kitchens here. I just pulled those tops off there so you could see down in there. And you have several little things that you got going on in there. But I've been in a bunch of homes that have big islands like this, but this is definitely one of those that's just, it's crazy. Like I don't, I don't even know what you, what you would do with an island that big, but some people, I guess, I mean, I, I can see you got a lot of kids, you got several kids having something like that would, would be really nice. Brand new Whirlpool appliance. It's gonna be really fast. Show you how fast I can open this thing up. Look at that. Oh gosh, now close it. <laughs> oh man. Y'all having a good time? This has been fun already. Now we're gonna flow. Now what is, oh, I just cannot know. This is your dining area. Beautiful tall ceilings, more cabinets. Right here, we've got some up top there as well. And then we come into here. Spot for your washer and dryer. Wow, look at all the cabinets that we have. We've got the, the sink in your mudroom. I love seeing that. But then I love the cabinets as well. Plenty of shelves for your clothes to stack up on. Stack up on. Uh, clean or dirty. Don't really know. Just put them all in a pile. <laughs> That's a back door that we have. Okay. I got to figure out what this room is over here. Let's see. Hello, what is you? Who who is you? Oh, oh, okay. So it is. It's like a little hangout room. This would be. I think your kids would probably claim this room, but if it was me and my wife let me have the option, which probably wouldn't happen, I would definitely have this as an office. But I'd have me a TV in here as well. That'd be nice and then have like a little couch or something too. That way, when I'm brainstorming on wonderful YouTube, <laughs> I can just sit back, maybe take a nap, watch TV, whatever. But cool, this is a cool room. What would you do with it? Come out of there. We got the upstairs too, we'll get to that real quickly. I'm gonna just be very fast in these rooms because we still got several things to see. So this is a good size uh, guest room right here. Like the windows that we have. Man, I'm really digging this one. I'm digging it. Oh, the lights on. Lights on, lights on. Wax on. Plenty of countertop space. We just have one big mirror. And then cabinets here. Shower tub combo. That's a good looking chub if I've ever seen one. I've seen a bunch of them. Okay, so let's come back in here into this room. So, I mean, you add that room we just went in and then you add the upstairs. Man, this home's got some square footage. Okay. All right, y'all ready? Let's go. I can't get over the size of that island. Woo. 
Okay, okay. What in the... You gotta be kidding me. Hold up, wait a minute. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at this! Oh my gosh! What is this room? Hello, what are you? <laughs> Golly, y'all. Just like the other one, it had some surprises too that I did where I didn't go in it at all before we started recording. Man, I'm glad we did. I don't, I don't even know what I'd do with this room. I'm trying to think. Let me think about it as we continue looking. So there's your bath in there. Let's look in this closet. This room right here in itself is just is just unbelievably big. And then that in there, I don't know what I would do with that room. And then we got a great size walk-in closet. I think for sure I'd put some bottom shelving. So yeah, that room. So if you think about it, as was looking on the exterior, that's when, you know, you see where they come out on each side of the porch. That's what those rooms are. That's awesome. Man, oh man. And then it just gets even crazier when you come into this bath. Double sinks, you, you, you know that. You know they're gonna have double sinks in this cabinets and then we have some other cabinets even higher up top and then we have cabinets and drawers down below now look we have no tub in this one but we have a shower the size of texas i'm sure with everything you got going on in this house you could definitely option in a tub somewhere I've been saying that just because I know a lot of y'all, a lot of you ladies especially, I see that on the comments where you would definitely have to have a tub. One of them big tubs, maybe some jets in it. Ooh, just relaxing after a long day. <laughs> I don't know what kind of accent that is. Whoa, and we still gotta go upstairs. So let's go do that, okay? So. I, I still don't know what I would do with this room. I mean, I don't, I'm try, I've been trying to think about it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, so we've seen that. We come in here. Once again, we're gonna have to look at that island. That thing is massive. Living room, I love the floor. We got this room in here. Wow. Okay, let's hope. Head, head upstairs. So on this show model, they do not have the top story finished out. I actually did tour one here that is finished and um, it's pretty cool what they can do. So you can get it like this, you can customize it. Y'all know, it's some crazy stuff you could do. Uh, but this is huge. This is So this is gonna be the whole length of the house. Yeah, it's really really high i wish i knew exactly how high it was i've been doing this every time i go upstairs and once so i just keep doing it maybe it'll make sense there is the top of my head and i am about six one with shoes on or so so that shows you exactly just how high this is plenty of height i mean you know i, I probably slam put a goal up there i slam dunk it oh <laughs> just kidding y'all know i can't jump all right, let's go down here and wrap this up. What would you do? Would you leave it like this just for like an attic? Or would you uh, you customize it up here? Well, I have to say, everyone, I've had one of the best times here in North Carolina. And if you're watching, you are from North Carolina. Hey, this is a great state. Uh, really cool. But yeah, let me just say, since you're still watching up until this point, if you have not subscribed, you need to. And that notification bell, that way you'll get a little notification when when we have an upload which is three times a week okay and with that being said 
Also, drop us a like if you have not. And uh, I'm just kind of standing here, like, imagine an afternoon standing here talking to Caitlin. It's crazy. This is huge. And lastly, I'll ask if you'll take that little share button and share this tour with somebody that you think would enjoy it. What did, what did you think about, you know, doing it together for the first time, uh, like, without me coming in? You know, I just kind of want to change things up and 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 not where it's just so repetitive all that type of stuff Any so yeah y'all be sure to leave me a comment let me know what you think about me touring it like that for the first time with y'all i really want to hear some feedback so if, so if i want to do that more in the future or whatever now let's talk about details and pricing and everything on the home that we just toured but before we do let me give a big shout out to miss evelyn r for becoming one of the real ones and having a channel membership and supporting me here on the channel. That means so much to me. Thank you. I'm sorry I can only see whatever name you have on YouTube. That's why all, all I have is Evelyn R. But you know who you are. Thank you so much, Miss Evelyn, for supporting me. It means so much. If you're interested in having a channel membership, want to learn more about that, link will be in the description. By the way, for members, I will, be, I will be putting out another exclusive video soon, so stay tuned for that. Also, in the description, you can find out more details on this home. I have like model information, uh, some square footage, stuff like that. You can see all that in the description. Also, in the description is a link to mine and my brother, Clay, if you have not met him. Our second channel, the link is in there. If you want to check that out, click over there. Subscribe, watch some videos, all that good stuff. Now, let's talk about pricing and everything on the home that we just toured. Now, I know in the beginning, I mentioned that Homes by Vanderbilt only services in North Carolina area. I'm going to have a map come up. It's going to show you the market area they cover. It'll be the colored counties there however i know we have viewers from all over and that's amazing that's the whole goal and everything i do all these tours for entertainment i've got another trip lined up i'll be telling you more about that in the future but it's a ways away from north carolina so with that being said if you're watching another state or region or whatever you want to use the website link if you're interested in more information on this home Website link will be in the description. Now, if you are in North Carolina, you can still use the website link and your information will go straight to Homes of Vanderbilt. But if you're not, we're, we're able to use the website and get you in contact with somebody in your area that has this home or something like it. Now we're gonna talk about pricing on this home. Sometimes I feel like these outros that I make are kind of really repetitive, but they're just a, a few key points that I've got to get out and every one of them. So, uh, but the pricing. This has got to be most people's favorite part, but I do want to stress that this pricing that I give you is just pricing that's been provided to me. Like I just mentioned, I do these tours for your entertainment. I'm not out here trying to sell these bad boys. I wish I could. But anyways, there could be other factors that have to be included, like extra freight charges, county regulations, so many things that I cannot even begin to factor in, depending on where you are. But with that being said, you're going to be seeing a price come across the screen and that's going to give you a really good idea what, some, what you can get something like this for. Now, that's going to be pricing on the show model we just toured. Now, different pricing, obviously, if you finish out that second level. Different pricing if you don't have that second level and have a smaller roof pitch. Just so many factors. This will be for the one we just toured. Now, that'll give you a really good idea. I want to say thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you've had a wonderful Tuesday. Unless you're watching on down the road, I hope you've had a wonderful day. Stay tuned to the channel. We're posting three times a week. All the videos come out at 645 Central Standard Time. I hope to see you on the next one. Y'all stay blessed, and I will see you soon. See ya.